Hey there guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And in this video, I am going to show you how to make this diamond design um, set of hand warmers. And um, let's see, let me think, what can I tell you about this? Um, for starters, we're gonna be using a chain of 23 because this is done in multiples, <clears throat> excuse me, multiples of six. So if you have kind of a dainty hand, um, skinnier wrists and like maybe thin hands then the chain 23 is going to be perfect for you uh, and I know that I just said multiples of six and um, chain 23 which doesn't make sense however uh, it's because when I do my rounds my beginning round I join the slip knot with a slip stitch and that makes my extra stitch and I do this because it creates a nicer more even finish um, and I've just really grown to love it I think that you're gonna love it too so to make this item um, for a small hand your hands gonna be you know maybe about six and a half inches around seven maybe um, that might be a little a little loose I'm not sure um, if you have a bigger, thicker hand um, and a wider wrist, then you're going to chain um, 29 stitches. And you can always experiment to see, you know, what's going to work best for your hand uh, or the person that you're making these for. Um, so generally, um, I see how snug my foundation row is, and then I decide if I need to go up or down um, a stitch count. It just depends on the project. So um, a couple things I want to bring out in the beginning here that I didn't bring out in the end is on the top here, I just finished with a single crochet, but you know, you are more than welcome to do whatever you want. Um, you can do a few more rows. It's just my hand, you know, was getting cut off and I, I kind of wanted my fingers to have their freedom. So I just stopped right there, but you certainly can do, um, you know, whatever you, whatever you want. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for this project, I use a size 4.25 crochet hook. Uh, I have two different color yarns. Um, you can certainly use only one color if you like. I just happen to like uh, the two tones. It's just, you know, who I am. So anyways, um, yeah, that's all you're going to need. Your hook, a pair of scissors, and a plastic needle. So let's get started. Yay. All right, so you're going to start off with a chain of 23, okay? And then we're going to slip stitch into our slip knot here. Okay, just like this, you're going to have your little tail that comes through the bottom. And then we're going to chain two. This is going to count as a stitch. Okay, and then you're gonna just half double crochet in each stitch around. I'll show you a few stitches. Yarn over, put it through your stitch, yarn over again. You got three loops all the way through, half double crochet. And you're going to do this all the way around and then we're going to join here at the very end with a nice uh, needle close all right so we are at the very last stitch so we're going to half double crochet in that one Okay, now we're going to cut our main yarn here and finish this um, stitch off. Okay. So I'm going to show this only in the beginning, and this is the technique I use to finish off each row. 
I don't join it um, like traditional instructions. So you're going to skip one, two, and you're going to bring your needle through the top of your very first half double crochet. And then you're going to bring your needle back down through the last stitch that you're trying to complete. And then you're going to finish this off um, however you would like. Okay, so now in any chain or any stitch on your half double crochet row, you're just going to insert your hook and then we are going to yarn over, chain one, and for the next two rows, we're going to do a single crochet. So you're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around and close it like we did on the half double crochet row. So. Make sure you catch a little bit of your, your yarn back there so you don't have um, any loose stitches. Okay. And this is all you're going to do for two more rows. This row and one more row. That way we'll have um, one, two, and three rows before we start our diamond design. Okay, so when you're closing your single crochet rows, it's going to just be the one stitch that you're going to skip right here. You're going to always skip that, uh, that chain one that we do in the beginning, and then you're going to come over to your very first single crochet and do the needle close. I'll show you um, real quick. Okay. So you want to pull your yarn through like that and almost finish your stitch, but we're just going to pull it through. Okay, so you're going to skip that first little stitch right there. It's actually just the chain one, but it still counts as a stitch. And then we're going to bring our needle through the top of the very first single crochet. And then through the back of the last stitch that you're finishing. Sorry about the dogs in the background. They just, you know, they're just yard dogs. They got no choice. Anyways. And then you're going to finish that off however you want and add one more row uh, of single crochet just like we did um, a minute ago. Yay! Okay, so we've got our three rows. We have our main row, uh, foundation row of half double crochet, and we've got one, two rows of single crochet. So you're going to change your yarn colors now if you would like, and we are going to insert your hook into any stitch you want. And then we're going to chain one, or pull up a loop and chain one. And then we're going to do a single crochet right next to that. All right. So you have one, two stitches. Now, you're going to do a front post double crochet, not around this half double, but the one to the right of your last stitch, which is right here, okay? So you're going to yarn over twice, and then we're going to do a front post, which is just around the post part, okay? Come on, yarn. Okay, there we go. All right. Now you have two single crochets, one, two, and then your front post. You're always going to be leaving these ones empty. And as the, proje the project goes on, you'll see how this um, progresses. Okay, so what you're going to do from here is go over four stitches on the half double crochet foundation row. You're going to skip one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do another front post um, 
treble crochet around the fifth stitch. So you remember you're skipping four, one, two, three, four, And this is a little awkward at first because the stitches seem really far apart, but really they're not. Okay, and there is what you should have. Now we're going to skip two of the stitches behind these, okay? So we're gonna skip one, two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. All right, next you're going to do a front post treble crochet right next to the last one that you did. Okay, so you've got this one and you're gonna do one at this angle right here, just like in the very beginning. Like I said, it's a little awkward, but once you get into it, it goes rather quickly. And once again, we're going to skip four on the half double crochet foundation row. So you're going to skip one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do another front post treble crochet around the fifth stitch here. Now remember, you're gonna skip the two behind your work right here. So you're gonna skip one, two, and then you're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. Those dogs outside, man, I tell you what. In the morning, they like to have their little skirmishes with each other. Okay, moving on. So then what we're gonna do once again is we're gonna do another front post treble crochet right next to the last one we made, okay? Then we're going to skip four and finish this technique around and I will meet you at the end of this row and show you how to close this row off. All right, now if your stitch count is correct, which hopefully it is, you're gonna be able to skip one, two, and then you're gonna be able to single crochet in the last two to meet up with the first two that you did. So we're going to skip one, skip two, and single crochet, single crochet, whoops, sorry, I went out of the view there. And then we're going to needle close, so get your yarn off, okay? Cut your tail. Okay, now you're gonna thread your needle, just like we always do. And like we do on every other row, you're going to skip the first uh, chain one. It's still a stitch, but you're gonna skip that, go right into the top of your first single crochet made, pull it through, and stick your needle through the back of the last stitch you're completing. 
like so, okay? And this is what you should have for the beginning of your diamond design. Now from here, what you're gonna do is single crochet. Uh, you're gonna do three more rows of single crochet. And I'm gonna show you how to start this row, uh, the first row from the beginning of your diamond design. It's a little tricky, but it's definitely easy to do. So um, grab your color A or whatever color you want to continue up. I am just using the two colors and we'll start um, the first row of the three of the single crochet, okay? Okay, now we're ready to do our single rows, our single crochet rows. And remember, we're gonna do three of those, but the first one is a little different because you're going to be single crocheting in the two spaces that you left out or that you skipped. And then once you do those, which are actually these right here, you're not gonna crochet into those. Remember, you're gonna be crocheting into the two stitches behind, so one and two. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna crochet in one, two, three, four. And then as you progress, you're going to uh, single crochet in the two that you skipped behind, so one, two, and then in the next four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's get started. Go ahead and pick up your main color. And you can start anywhere really, so let's just start right here. Um, you're going to pick up a loop, chain one, and then we're going to do another single crochet. And then remember, you're gonna do behind this, behind your two front post uh, treble crochets is where you're gonna do your next two single crochet stitches. So you're gonna kinda have to look back there a little bit I'm trying to do this slow and up close so you can see and then you've got your other stitch here. Okay. And then you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches, the next four single crochets. So, one, two, three, four. All right, and you're gonna continue this method all the way around, do your needle close, and you're gonna continue with two more rows of single crochet. And then when we get there, I'll show you how to continue the diamond pattern. Okay, goody goody, we have finished our rows of single crochet. So now we're gonna continue this uh, diamond design here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up um, directly above this single crochet right here, and you're going to insert your hook, pull up a, a loop, and chain one. That counts as one stitch, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, so from here you're going to do a front post treble crochet around these two bottom ones here. So you're going to yarn over twice, and then it's going to be a little awkward. Stick your hook underneath both of those, and then we're just going to do a treble crochet. It's going to be a little thick and awkward, but you're going to get it. And just whoops, continue with your treble crochet method here. 
if your yarn wants to cooperate, which mine doesn't. So let's try that one more time. Okay, yay, success. Okay, so from here, you have um, the four single crochets and then your front post treble crochet around the first two on your um, on the step one of the diamond design, okay? So then what you're gonna do is treble crochet again around the next set. So we're gonna yarn over twice and insert your hook under those stitches. Pull your yarn through. And there you have your first diamond. So behind here, you're going to skip two stitches. Okay. You're going to skip one, two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. And then I'll show you the step to um, make another diamond design right here. So you're going to front post treble crochet, okay? And then we're just gonna come back through. It's gonna be a little thick in there. Sorry, I'm not trying to go out of view here. Alrighty, there you go. And then once again, you're going to front post treble crochet around these ones right here. Once again, you're going to skip one, two, crochet in the next four stitches, and just continue this around to the end. Alrighty, so we have reached the end of our um, row, and we have our diamond shapes. Okay. And you're going to close off this row just like any other. If your stitch count is correct, you should have one, two stitches that you're skipping, and then you're going to join your uh, last stitch in the very first single crochet right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So come up through your first single crochet. And back down through the last stitch you were making. Alrighty. And this is how you are going to build your wrist warmer. Now you're going to build it all the way up or crochet it all the way up to the desired length. I have one made here um, so you guys can see uh, how it looks when it's fully made. And I chose to carry the design all the way up this time. Sometimes I will um, just make a, a design partially way up and then I'll use half double crochet to fit maybe like this part of my hand up at the top. But I just wanted to see how this was going to work out. Um, and then, so I'll meet you back when we do the thumb hole. And I will show you how that looks. Oops. Okay. 
So your hand warmer is going to look just like this when you're done. This is a wonderful, snug um, orthopedic fit. And, um, you know, you can use whatever colors you want. The gauge I chose, of course, is my favorite one, which is 4.25. It's just big enough and small enough for my hand. So I'll meet you guys back here at the thumb hole. Um, and remember, you can um, build this up as tall as you want. You can make it, you know, come you know, up here. Just make sure you account for how thick your arm is or whoever you're making this for. All right, so I'll see you guys uh, shortly. Okay, so we are at the point where we're going to um, do our third row of single crochet and add our thumb hole. So I have started over here just a few stitches away from where um, I'm going to start my skip and chain four for the thumb hole. So you're going to do your, um, your bring up a loop chain one and then we're just going to follow through here for a little ways. I'll show you guys how to do the thumb hole. And then after you get your you, this row finished, which is your third um, row of single crochet for the thumb hole row, then you're just going to continue your diamond design all the way up, uh, just like we have from the start. So we're going to chain four. One, two, oops, three, and four. Okay. And then you're going to skip four. So one, two, three, four. We're going to start to single crochet where our stitch marker is. Now I have mine marked uh, where I stop for the thumb hole beginning right before, whoops, I'm sorry, excuse me, um, or I'm sorry, right in the middle of the front post treble crochet set and then I skip four and then I end up right before the next set, okay? so. Right here, I st I, it's, it's in the middle, and then over here you can see it stops right before the next set. So you're just going to continue around and follow your diamond design up as high as you would like it to be. Okay, so we are at the point where we are going to be doing our diamond over the thumb hole. Okay, so you're just going to do it like you normally would. You make your four single crochets, okay, and then your front post double crochet here. I'm sorry, your front post triple crochet here. And then, you know, you cross over and do your front post triple crochet on the next set. And you're still going to follow the same method where you skip one, two, okay, and then single crochet in the next four stitches. It just says this time you're going to have some of the stitches um, in you know in the the chain row okay so so we're gonna have two stitches in the chain row right there and then we're going to continue with our front post treble crochet uh, pattern so yarn over twice and then do your magic. And then you're going to add one over here, just like before on the other, uh, on the other stitches. Oops. I don't think it's getting in the way there. Okay, and you're gonna skip two, so one, two. And that is how you do your thumb hole. Now, once you get your other rows on here, because you know your next row after this is gonna be another set of um, three rows of single crochet. So you're gonna be you know, picking up those two stitches. So this won't really be loose the way that it is now. And then of course you always have the option to, um, you know, tack your your stitches back if you don't want to stress them out. Um, I have this one over here, and I have chose not to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to yet, but you know, it's certainly up to you. So 
This is how you create this wonderful pair of hand warmers. Um, they make a great gift, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in. All right, please subscribe and hit like if you do.